Hello, my dear folks. Welcome to the show. My name is Jack Chow with the East West Show under GNE TV, a huge umbrella that covers all the way to back east, all across country, with 11 other different channels. Now, uh, being an audience of this show, though, you really probably find out uh, the position we are in. We take not a kind of a criticism point of view or stand. We try to educate people by bringing more upbeat information to life rather than just to say to, to denounce, right? to uh, criticize anything of the wrongdoing. We are doing the positive side to contrast with the wrong side. Yes. Right? And the contrast is a word. Uh, with the incidents happening, such as the uh, uh, Adrian Peterson beating child case, and there are more of the case, at least five or six of the same kind. And yesterday we heard about the poor mayor of uh, Bell Garden was killed and shot to death by his uh, wife. Wife, what a wife, all right. Anyway, those things keep popping up. They keep popping up. So what's wrong with it? So that gives me a lead to automatically this great book called The Life is Simple, 100 Words to Live By. It's written by my good friend, Mr. Ken Hemming, as the author. He is right now with me. Ken, once again, welcome to the show. Thank you for letting me be here. You will notice today that I smile more than normal when we talk about some other subjects that are very sure, sure. difficult. Right. This is pure joy, All right. and, um, and I'm ready. And I really have to uh, appreciate the fact that you wrote such a book out of the uh, busy, colorful, and the kind of like lost life. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Good, good. And you keep yourself sober-minded. So for that, we would like to leave a little comment from, uh, from the uh, philosophy, phlo philosophy, philosophical point of view where this book stands, right? So as versus the fact that somebody as a father can beat the child almost right. to death, right? right? You see the bruises, you see the wounds all over the body, mm -hmm. right? And it's only a child four years old, right? Tragedy. Yeah. And uh, somebody can shoot her husband in a family dispute. Right. We call it domestic violence. Violence means violence, but not to this kind of a supreme. Right, not to right. that. So what is your comment to these happenings, to these incidents? What is the lack? What are missing in the society so far, to your knowledge? Right, Please. and this is how I feel very strongly about it. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> sometimes people go through a portion of their life and never really address how they want to live life, what sort of values they want to practice in their life, mm -hmm. and they let things just happen. Often then they just react to something without thinking it through. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, values, which is one of the words in here, uh, values by itself, there are bad values, okay? Mm -hmm. So my book is about positive personal values, uh, and you have to keep assessing throughout life your values. They may, they may evolve a little bit over uh, time. And you are saying that the lack is the value. Right, the lack is, is, the word is having value values is to commit yourself to. Uh -huh, okay. If because I could be perhaps irritated by some circumstance that maybe somebody else pulls out a gun and shoots mm -hmm. or okay. spanks a kid or something, sure. but but I can't because I have a value system I'm committed to and mm -hmm. I must live within that or sure. I shame myself. Uh -huh. And I don't want to so, shame myself. All right. So, uh, in your book, you do have a value word value. Yes. That is the quite. Vividly explained. Yes. Can you read some to my audience? Because you know, to my audiences, I like this book a lot. And of course, I I am a book lover, and I read lots of books. I read on a uh, on a probably a f uh, rate about per one book per week, something like that. Any any book, right? Right. But this is right. the book that I like most. It doesn't tell stories. Doesn't tell anything. It tells you about how you want to deal with yourself, deal with your life, right? So, now, uh, please, 
pick yeah, a few lines. I'd like to, yeah. yeah Let please. me. So with your word of value. As I start value, out. Yeah. Yeah. What is the purpose of a value system uh, void of worthy values? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, not much. There, therefore, it is our responsibility to evaluate the components of our personally developed value system as to their worthiness. Yeah, can you slow down a little bit, please? Yes, for, okay, yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm too hyper when yeah, I'm my know, favorite I subject. Know, I know, I know. Okay. want to get to the thank bottom you. of it. We are, we are not born with an instinctual value system. We're born as a baby. It, mm -hmm. We have to learn a value system through, uh, through either our parents, through society, mm -hmm. through friends, mm -hmm. however. I see. Um, uh, society puts out some guidelines mm -hmm. as to what belongs in a value system. This is referred to truly as a communal value mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. you're, uh, you're right, yeah. It applies to all those in some community or society. And stop right there, please. Yes. When you say communal uh, system, yeah. when you say communal value, right? Right. So, of course, you can be self-esteemed uh, to as much as you can, and you want to make sure how the rest of the folks mm -hmm. will accept. Um, yes. Right? Now. It, yes. And then you just, you just not assuming that you're the only one on earth. There are people who live together with you. There are people who you might encounter with. Correct. Okay? That people, there are people who you might even collide into. Absolutely. All uh right. -huh. Yeah. So that's why when you initiate or do, when you quantify your value, you have to make sure you follow the community. Well, you go with the community. <laughs> but you that's why you call it communal. It's a communal. It, it's what it's a. It's the sum uh, group of values that mm. a society sort of has adopted. Sure, sure. However, some of those values mm. may not be righteous. Sure. They may not be worthy. Uh -huh. And so my whole thing is, we each, all of us together, we have mm -hmm. we have a brain that we use for our own self. Sure. sure. And and so we have to determine. You 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 you're, you're given some broad gui guidelines mm. from society's mm. values. But, but like in all societies, sure, there's sure. some not very worthy. So I like to eliminate those sure, that I don't sure. consider worthy. Mm -hmm. Please be aware of the fact that I made an insertion at the right point where you mentioned the word communal. Yes. Right? So the reason I do that is because I, when I look at the whole picture, the entire picture of the society though, mm -hmm. you see the society as a whole committee. Yes, sir. Or you right. see also, you see your group of people as a small committee in the committee. That's for example, mm -hmm. right? If you are a celebrity mm -hmm. for say, just say a film star, a movie star, yes, or a sports star or a TV icon or something like that, mm -hmm. you look around people around you, you see people not 100% doing the right thing. Absolutely. They do drugs, right? Right. They, they, they abused their family members, such as in Adrian Peterson's case. Right. Right? Celebrity. Right. Celebrity. Right. right. So now, they look around among themselves within a small communal group. Mm -hmm. They found, yeah, he's on drugs. Let me be on drugs. Right. Right. She's on drugs. Let me be on drugs. And this is the trend of the small communal group. Yes. Without looking at the whole society. As versus that, they may know that they are totally doing wrong, even though they are following the trend of their only small communal group. Well, and may I? Am I making a point? And here's here's a point that I have in here because mm -hmm. you're exactly right. What you just said. I have a word in here uh, called no, N O, mm -hmm. and 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 that is I say no protects and and yes endangers. So when you're in your peer group where they're enticing you to do things like drugs or beat your kid or whatever it is, mm -hmm. okay, um, you ha there's the righteous times to say no. Sure. You will then show other people that you have a pretty good value system, mm -hmm. and they may learn from you. As as an example, but no is a very important word to differentiate between what uh, temptations there are out there and what temptations you're invited sure, sure. to participate in exactly. and when not to do exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. It's a perfect. So exactly. If you are, I would just say, if you have somebody come to them to remind them with a, with a bell that rings their ears, mm -hmm. things will get better, right? 
Um, yes, if yeah. somebody to show and display, exactly. right. It goes on and on, going worse and worse. Things right. will get only worse. Like with a snowball. Nobody, when nobody rings a bell to them. Right, that's right. So, what this book does, and uh, well, it's, the fact is, I don't have to scratch your backs. Right. I don't have to do that. No, not right. at all. All I want to do is tell my, my audience the fact. Uh, September 6th, on the event of the Full Moon Happy Family at... Uh, uh, Pond Hill Mall, yes. where EDI sponsors the whole thing. Uh, Mr. Ken Hamming went there and he had a booth to himself. To one reader, singly, one reader himself, he sold five books. Right. And this person bought five copies of the same book, asking why he says he wants to send to his friends. Correct. His friends. So I myself take it. Not as an exciting story, boy, you get chilled, no. or whatever. You don't do that, right? It's and it's a book like, like a, a textbook. It's a lesson like for life, a tutorial for life. Education, right? Yes. Especially when you have kid. When you have kid, teach them about your value. Teach them about the personal esteem within the value right. that the society calls, right? You know, and when you possess a value system of quality, uh, uh, you go through life prepared for anything that, I think I'm prepared mm -hmm. for anything life mm -hmm. can bring to me, including for death, sure, sure. and mm -hmm. I'm always serene and content. I'm, I, I'm a contented person All because right. I'm prepared for life. You were doing the right thing, you wrote the book, and you were doing the right thing to promote the book because it is something that really, really, really seriously we need. So. To my audience today, we're talking about Mr. Ken Hamming's book, wonderful book, One Life, say, Life is Simple, 100 Words to Live By. Uh, it's a book I like. I, as you're uh, a host, I do recommend this book to you. Once again, it is not a promotion, it's not an advertising. Yeah. It is the value of life we see in the books that he portrays that we would like to push, right? we would like to push forward to promote. So let's take a short moment out. When we come back, let's look into families. Shall I love we please? Yes, please. Yeah. What's wrong with the structure of family? So stay with us. We'll be right back, please.